Hey, good morning, internet. Um, my name is JLK. I'm the founder of Still Learning, and this is the vlog of Building Still, the documentation of how I took my idea. Uh, this is where we're at right now. This is the operation. We like an entrepreneur. I'm kind of living here. It's kind of a mess right now. It's one of those kind of things. Like one in the morning, actually. And maybe it's because I'm a little stressed out that I'm not really in a normal sleeping schedule right now. But anyway, uh, whatever. We're going to go to the hot tub. This has to be one of the all-time great perks of me. You have these issues sometimes in your life where they put like, like, come on, we all live here. And it's just like, ugh, why are you like this? But if you're tall, ew, pretty, uh, not really an issue. Uh, we've been training really hard the last little bit and it's going pretty good. We're starting to, our knees are less wobbly. In college sports, you just, the workouts are like, you just have to survive. It's like more mental training and team suffering than it is, I don't know, really focused weight work. Look at this, ready for this, check it out, look, look. See this, see this, look, magic, ready, come. Look at that, look at that. All the dishes, done. All right, amazing. I'm probably gonna go sleep a little bit. I'll see you the next interesting thing that happens today. Anyway, all right, we're back. We're looking at our to-do list. One of the great things, one of the terrible things, is if you are trying to do a startup, you're gonna have to do pretty much everything yourself at first, and that can be really daunting. I think there's something on the camera. But once you kind of get, you, you gotta, this is the hard part, is you gotta be able to abstractly map everything out like a game plan. And then once you get game plans mapped out, whoa, it's a moth in the house. Check it out. Yeah, forget the game plan. There's a moth in the house. <laughs> we really like Sage. I don't know if you've ever, Sage the place before or done this, but it's actually kind of nice. You gotta set the thing on fire so it like, I mean, you can't smell it right now, but it's making a really nice smelly. And then you gotta get it burning nice. And then you just go all around your body and you do it like between your leg, under your armpits, and you just go. I would definitely recommend getting some sage in your life or some incense. If you're not a fire person, that's okay. Whatever, but I don't know. I think it's cool. This is not a drill, nerds. We're locking in. We're locking in. Here's the assignment. Has a presentation tool. She's gonna do Your her little you? spiel. Uh, I have a text description also. Her two to ten minute presentation. We're we'll talking about in-house solutions. You know what? We don't. Who cares, bro? It doesn't even matter. Whatever problem you give to us, I'm gonna send it right to Goddard, and then we're gonna figure it out from there. All right, internet, a little inspiration. There's this brand out there right now. It's called like Essentials. And they they overcharge just like streetwear for like just like sweats. So uh, in math, you can you can put like an, an exclamation point to make it like not essential, like non-essential. I think that would be such a funny spoof. But anyway, this video is about What's going on, guys? I'm about to meet with a friend of mine who's a big fan of the Fear God collection, and I want to find out why in order to understand if we <laughs> yeah, can Yeah, why? Dude, why I've, do people like this? I've literally worn this to a nightclub. Does this reflect? Yeah, yeah, reflects. What do you like the most about this stuff? I guess, like, the silhouette, man. It's just, like, how casual it is, but yet still, like, kind of, like, upscale. <laughs> yeah, so, like, like uh, this piece right here. Spoof this, but call it non-essential. I need to make a... I, I gotta make a merch store. This is just one of the possible merch stores. The other one would be Smile Brand. All right, another sub goal of our life is to win a UTR tennis tournament. And my strategy is I'm gonna be left-handed and I'm just gonna rack people with serves. And I'll just surprise them with my left-handedness. But, oh, I'm also gonna be in the best shape. So like, I won't get tired. And I have really good mental mindset. Competing against me is gonna be tough. Just for anybody. But uh, you gotta have the technical skill too. And that is the thing that I am lacking the most. That's why this whole thing is called still learning because once you get like the elite mindset where you understand how to go about a task or a goal, it's pretty simple. It's just a formula and then you just have to apply it. And it's just application. Can you put it into practice? So we're gonna go practice. All right, interwebs, we check it out. Look, the net's all broken. But anyway, look at the Mazda building, just looking amazing. This is the location of the sun. These are the courts we're gonna host the first live ball drop. 
And then once it gets going, a bunch of different local parks. Part of the thing about the app we're using, it's made by a guy who lives here. His name's Seth. Uh -huh. And he's pretty cool because he's actually a dev. So that means he actually designs this app. So I'm his friend. So if there needs to be features or updates, I can talk to him easy peasy and we can get things shifted and changed. So right now there's two time slots. There's an 8 a.m. time slot, a 10 a.m. time slot. Book your live ball sessions. If there's not enough people, I should show up anyway. And we'll have a fun tennis day because it's just good morning exercise. So I'm gonna do some good morning exercise. Wax some serves. I don't have my tripod, so I don't know. I guess you'll have to come to the live ball clinic to actually see what I look like when I serve. This is like a teaser promo come to live ball yo irvine spectrum center 8 a.m 10 a.m monday through saturday today's sunday so this is our day of rest and for me every day is like game day so we still gotta train even though it's rest day but it's still game day because if you know you get it if you don't know you'll figure it out i've got a ai powered remote control with my mind i'm telling it to now go that way and then i'm gonna tell it to stop it didn't stop the power of the wind man God said no. Let's see if it delivers it right to the spot where you need it to be. Okie dokie webs of the inners. We are here in the middle of our day and we're gonna pack up our things. Well, I don't know. We could skateboard with our stuff or we go run. I haven't really decided which option to go yet. I think we might go on a run because we have enough money to buy food again. <laughs> and since we have enough money to buy food, we can afford doing things like burning the calories of going on a run. And since we're working on weightlifting right now, it's probably better for our bodies to do some running. Even though running is kind of boring. I don't know. It's fun once you do it. It's just, you just have to get yourself to actually go and do it. So, was goody with you, webs of the inners. We played an audible, we ate food, and then we took a nap. And now it's like two something. So now it's time to wake ourselves back up and then get back to exercising. We're gonna go run up a hill real quick. Okay, so our goal is as follows. We are going to go on a quick exploration of a mile to like two mile radius to go look for all the possible tennis courts that would suffice for live ball this summer. If you're watching this and you don't know what live ball is, go check out the Instagram account. It's linked in the description. Or you can just go follow me on Instagram, uh, jlogank, and you can find live ball info there as well. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna do one of those runner app thingies so you guys can like see. Screw the Alec. I made it on a tripod, so it's not just oh me holding it by myself. But time to go run. Okay, so we found the first courts. This is by like Los Olivos. This one's cool. They got volleyball over there too. So it could be like I don't know. All right, now we're gonna go check out the other set of courts, which is over this way. Our other option is here, but there's like so many people here already. This one's cool too. It has a whole basketball court. It has a soccer field. There's also a baseball field over there. So I guess the court at the end is for pickleball right now. So this is really only three courts and one pickleball court. And then the other one at Los Olivos is two courts. And then the village at Irvine Spectrum is also two courts. All those combined, plus online scheduling, the tribe will be set easy. Summer live ball in Irvine coming at you. So we're back. We gotta get ourselves fueled. We're a plant-based athlete, which means plant-based, no dairy. It's just, it's high quality protein, bro. We got grad school homework due at like a few hours. So we gotta get that done first. Our vehicle in its parking spot. And then we're gonna go get some dinner. All right, we are now tasked. Oh, my hands are buttery. With everything we need to do our homework. It gets really nice if you got screens on screens to make this thing happen. Seven o'clock, we have two hours to finish our grad school homework. 
let's get it. All right, interwebs. So that's going to be the final assignment that we get for the day. We uploaded it with uh, four minutes. Four minutes to spare. So we aren't going to fail grad school. That's always a plus. We made a vlog today. Uh, we're going to go edit the vlog now, but uh, I hope you liked it. Anyway, this was just a look into my life, and I'm going to keep it going tomorrow. We're just building still. Anyway, catch you later.